Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to fix when you cannot start a game or application on your PlayStation 5. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So the first tip I have for you is when there is a lock symbol next to your game, what you want to do is go up to settings right here and select this. Go down to users and accounts and then go on down to other. Go to the right and go to restore licenses. Restore licenses for downloaded content you can't use. Now, if you become unable to use content you download, go ahead and just restore the licenses, and this will remove that lock symbol next to the game. Now, another thing you want to go ahead and try is simply deleting the game and re download it. So, if I go to Elden Ring, press options on this, I can delete the game off the home screen here, and I can simply just re download it. So, to find it under your collection, you want to go to the game library. Then go up on the D-pad and go to your collection. Then you can go to the sort options here on the left and you can find the game once again and you can download it back to your PlayStation 5. Now, if this doesn't work, press the PlayStation button and then go to the power settings right here and completely 100% turn off your PS5. Do not enter rest mode. Now, if you are using the disc version of a game, simply clean it by using like a microfiber cleaning cloth or something like that. And if you have any kind of smudges on your disc, this could be the reason why it's not starting up properly. So make sure you clean your disc off. Then on our PlayStation 5, if this still doesn't work with it completely turned off and there's no light and it's not orange right here, we want to start it into the safe mode menu. So hold down the power button. We will hear one beep. And then about five to 10 seconds later, we will hear another beep. And this will launch it into the safe mode menu. And we will need to connect our controller with a USB cable to operate this menu. So let's do this here and then put this in just like this and then press the PlayStation button. Now let's go on over to the screen. So under here, let's go on down to option number five, clear cache and rebuild database. Now I want you to try both these options, clear system software cache. And this will essentially be like unplugging your PlayStation 5 from the wall outlet for approximately one to two minutes. Then go on down to option number two, rebuild database. It says it may take a few hours, but my experience will only take like five to 10 minutes to go ahead and do, or restart your PlayStation a few times. And if you are having any kind of like copying or installing issues, with your solid state drive, this should go ahead and fix that for you. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. Did go leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.